108 people got stuck on the highway as a result of flash flooding and mudslides last week. Authorities say some people waited it out in their cars, others got a little creative. Yeah, one man jumped into a CDOT forklift and started clearing the debris himself <laughs> until the check engine light came on. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Andrew Healy. And I'm Shannon Ogden. I-70 is now closed for almost 50 miles from West Rifle to Dotsero. CDOT's calling this an all hands on deck response and they don't know when the road's going to reopen. So let's give you some context of the sheer force of these mudslides. CDOT leaders said this afternoon that there were at least 10 mudslides through Glenwood Canyon. Some were 10 to 12 feet deep. 20 to 150 feet wide. One was so powerful that it broke through a retaining wall on I-70. Colorado spoke to CDOT leadership directly about their concerns today. And one man says he lives near I-70 and wanted to know if these frequent closures are sort of new normal. The executive director of CDOT says it's more of a rough patch because of last year's wildfires. Yeah, the vegetation that can grow in the period of a few months is not as strong as the trees that burn down you know, over the course of last year. There are some very big natural forces at play here that are, you know, just create sort of fundamental challenges that, uh, you know, that, that so, some, of, some of which can be accelerated and some of which nature heals over time. And Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson is joining us now with a look at the current conditions. Mike? The next 72 hours are going to be pretty rough across Colorado, Ann and Shannon. We have the potential for three to four inches of rain in some of the areas of central Colorado into the foothills, and it's all being driven by monsoon flow from the southwest and a cold front moving in from the north. That's going to meet right on top of us over the course of the weekend. We've had some severe thunderstorm activity to the north of the Denver area, just to the north and to the west of Greeley. All of these areas in red on the east troublesome burn scar, the Cameron Peak burn scar, flash flood warnings due to slow moving heavy thunderstorms. We have a flash flood watch that includes the I-25 corridor through tomorrow. Farther to the west, we're watching carefully near the Grizzly Creek burn scar again, and we have further activity that's down to the south and to the west on the Williams Fork burn scar, the Sylvan Fire burn scar. These scars are going to be a real problem throughout the weekend, including southwestern Colorado. But just now, starting to see these storms blossom north of Denver. They're going to move southward and develop over the Denver metro area with locally heavy rain, and that begins now through about 7 o'clock tonight. So our headlines are heavy rain for the weekend, mountain flooding likely, road closures a very good bet, and heavy rains also along the I-25 corridor. Let's get back to I-70 now in Denver 7's Patrick Perez is surveying the damaging Glenwood Canyon tonight. So what are you hearing for the folks out there, Patrick? Uh, and, and Shannon, this has been such a nightmare of a day for so many people. We actually just arrived here at this recreation center here in Glenwood Springs about 20 minutes ago. It took us five hours from Denver to arrive here. And the, the Red Cross had set up shelter here for anybody who may have been stuck overnight because of these mudslides. But I've been told now that it is shutting down because it is, it is not currently needed, but it may be needed at some point within these next few days. I do want to take you now to some more video from Air Tracker 7 showing some of these mudslides. I spoke with a man over the phone who says he was driving back east to Wisconsin last night when these mudslides happened. So he and others, they had to take shelter in a tunnel. They were stuck there for about 12 hours until this morning when they got on a rescue bus to get back to Glenwood Springs safely. Their car, by the way, is still inside of that tunnel. They were hanging out here at the recreation center for most of the day, and they just recently got some vouchers to stay at a hotel here overnight. And we are hoping to speak with them and his family um, on camera within the next hour or so. The Red Cross does tell me that this shelter, it is of course shutting down, but it is on standby mode because we do know that we are getting more rain uh, within these next few days. So they are ready to open it whenever they need to. For now, that is the latest here in Glenwood Springs. I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Mm.